On 17 April 2023, the National Bar Safety Authority NBA assured the nation that the milli meal being imported from South Africa produced from genetically modified maize is safe for consumption. The authority also disclosed to the public that the NBA also conducted risk assessments on maize and soy varieties from South Africa and have been found to be safe for human and animal consumption. However, this has been received with mixed feelings from the people in the country. Among them is the Zambia Alliance for Agroecology and Biodiversity, who have expressed concerns about the matter, stating that the risks assessment are not scientifically credible, adding that the six risk assessment documents that are available cannot be described as vigorous by any means as they do not include any experimental designs and there is no narrative showing how the authorities evaluated the safety information they received. The fact that they are either not doing these risk assessments or alternatively not making this information available to the public does not inspire confidence. We also believe that the risk assessments are not scientifically credible. The six risk assessment documents that are available cannot, dis dis cannot be described as vigorous by any means. They, are, they appear to be summaries of the safety data that is prepared by the producers of GMOs for their permit applications. Three pages long on average, these risk assessments do not include any experimental design, any data out, uh, coming out of trials or any peer-reviewed scientific data. There is no evidence, there is no uh, narrative showing how authorities evaluated the safety information they received. President, His Excellency Mr. Hakainde Chilema to urgently intervene in this matter and compel the NBA to uphold the law by rescinding the decision to allow the importation of mini meal made from the next government five days. The demand for the government of the Republic of, Zamb of Zambia to source non-GMO means and all minimum for its people. This is the, the, the responsibility that the government has based on its own laws to find healthy and safe food for its population. And we believe that resources are available for such emergencies without resorting to GMOs whose safety is still under dispute despite, despite years of research and investment. She has further questions if the NBA has become a proponent and promoter of genetically modified organism. If all GMO maize and soybeans from South Africa are safe for human consumption, why was the consignment discovered yesterday labeled safe for people four years and above and not just safe for human and animal consumption? Has this to say? So anything, and the constitution goes further, is any law or any promulgation which goes contrary to this constitution, to the extent of the contradiction, is null and void. That is our stand. We know, we have been told, GMOs are not good for current and future generation. So therefore they are illegal. That's our basis. According to the National Bio Safety Authority, GMS or soya coming to Zambia from South Africa is permitted as long as it goes through existing application procedures. Margaret Chota. Movie TV News in Lusaka.